right, we are back on the blue couches welcoming in Janice Castro. She's uh, with us talking about the family history fair, which is happening on Sunday. You're part of the the committee uh, behind this and uh, Janice, welcome to first at four. Yeah. Thank you. It's tell great to be bit, here. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this event. Uh, this is a collaboration between the Hagen History Center and the Erie Society for Genealogical Research. And we're bringing in representatives of historical societies all over Erie County. A lot of people don't realize how many there are. Mm -hmm. There are more than a dozen and Ashtabula County in Ohio and Chautauqua County in New York. So family, people interested in family research, you could be a raw beginner or you could be a little more experienced. We'll find all kinds of experts there all gathered in one place. The um, museum will be open uh, free that, that day from 12 to five and the fair will go from one to four. Uh, there will also be people there who are educators who can teach you about how to do research and what kind of resources are. Okay, needed. because if you are a beginner, the task is is oh. large, and sometimes you just don't know where to start. It's yet. so daunting. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. Where do you start? What What's your first step? You know, you start with yourself. Hmm. It, it, this 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 may sound silly, but you start with what you know, mm -hmm. and you start looking at family pictures. Talk to the oldest people in your family mm -hmm. and interview them because when they go, it's sad to say their memories go. Right. Yeah. And they know so much, and they can tell you who's in these pictures. You know, I have a picture of my grandparents' wedding back in 1913 or something, and there are about 15 people in the picture, and I can only identify about five of them. Yeah. And there's nobody alive who can tell me who the other people are. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing photo searches to okay. match up faces. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And what had you learned uh, about your lineage in doing so? Well, you know, I grew up in California with, uh, as part of a, my father's family was part of the, one of the founding families of San Francisco. Wow. Um, and so back in 1776, they were on the first expedition up there. But I never knew anything about the women. Mm. Uh, if you're lucky, you knew their first names, the mm -hmm. wives, my grandmother and great grandmother and great great. Um, and so I got interested in genealogy because I wanted to know the stories of my family and I wanted to know the other half of my ancestors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. interesting. I, I think so much people think this these days to be able to really go back, you need to be computer savvy. Is that the case or can you do it offline as well? Well, it helps to be computer savvy, but of course you have the heritage room at the Blasco mm -hmm. Library where there are people who can show you sure. how to find things. But you know what, it, it's an interesting point you're making because much of what you're going to see at the Family History Fair is all these historical in, uh, societies have millions of documents and research folders and things that are not on the internet. Mm. Oh, okay. So actually it's back to paper research like yeah. people used to do 50 years ago, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, how about somebody that is somewhat experienced in this? What might they be looking for at this fair? They might be looking for um, finding out, they, they might be from out of town, for example. Mm -hmm. They might be uh, interested in talking to the clerk of records from the Erie County Courthouse who will be there and can tell you what's available in the Erie County Courthouse. Uh, there will be people there from the Erie County Public Library who can tell you about uh, the Power Library, which I didn't hear about until about a year ago. It's a collaboration of all the libraries in the state of Pennsylvania mm. um, to make all kinds of resources available free for anybody with a library card in Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. So there are all these databases that, are, uh, that have very authoritative information um, and also MyHeritage, one of the big family history yeah. sites. They're subscription based, but you don't have to pay for them if you're a library patron. Oh, wow. Card. So again, so much it's to coming learn. up Sunday, 1 p.m. at the Hagen History Center. Um, you can go to genealogyerie.org if you'd like a little bit more information. But whether you are a beginning, a beginner, or if you're experienced with with genealogy, you could come check it out and and uh, find out what you need to be finding out. And Sunday's a family day. We'll have uh, people there with activities for children out on the front mm -hmm. lawn and food trucks. So great. it'll be fun. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is great. Thank you. Lots yeah. to learn. Janice, yeah. thanks so much for being with us.